laughed at me on the phone when I told him. And he challenged me to go to the Florida bar. So yeah, today I laughed. I laughed. I was so happy when I found out he got arrested. Mm. A St. Augustine woman has some scathing words for her former attorney tonight. Christopher Adamick is accused of stealing more than $54,000 from her by withholding insurance settlements. First Coast News reporter Juliet Dreyer joins us from the newsroom with this exclusive story tonight. Anthony, the St. John's County Sheriff's Office confirms the woman I spoke with, Linda Masters, is the victim in this case. It's been more than two years since she was injured in a car crash and insurance settlements from that crash totaled $60,000. But Linda Masters has only gotten about $1,700 and her attorney, ha attorney handling the claims is now on the other side of the law facing felony charges. You should be able to hire an attorney and be able to trust that they're going to be there for you. It's a fight Linda Masters says began in June 2015. She was rear-ended while stopped at a light. Her injuries would later require surgery. Everything was just kind of like tingling and hurting. At the suggestion of a friend, Masters hired St. Augustine attorney Christopher Adamak to handle her claims. Two of them, one with Progressive Insurance and one with Allstate. According to Adamak's arrest affidavit, the Progressive settlement totaled $10,000. But after attorney's fees and more than $4,000 allegedly paid to three companies for their services, Masters was left with a check for $1,744. I didn't even know what to think. I was floored. I was, I, I said to her, I said, 17 $1,700? Are you kidding me? Like, where's the rest of the money? Masters says Adamac was then difficult to reach when handling the second claim with Allstate. Oh, I'm so busy. I'm so tired. I've been in and out of meetings. I've been out of town on a deposition. So she took matters into her own hands, calling the companies named for that $4,000 deduction from the first settlement. They would ask me, like, the invoice number, is there a check number? When was the date? How much was it? But the response was all the same. Everybody was like, no, 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 no. The arrest affidavit states Adamac's former office manager admitted the invoices for the charges were fake and the attorney never paid those companies. Additionally, the affidavit says Allstate later issued a $50,000 settlement check to Adamac in December 2016. Masters still hasn't gotten any of that money. So today, you got a call. I have to tell you, I was one happy camper when I heard that Mr. Adamac was officially arrested today. We did try to track down Adamac to get his side of the story. We were stopped at the gate leading to the address listed on his arrest documents, and a woman who answered the phone said he didn't live there. His St. Augustine law office was empty, the space now for rent. He ought to be damn ashamed of himself. While Masters is relieved to finally see an arrest, she says there's a long way to go before this saga is over. He owes me for the pain and the suffering. He owes me for the aggravation. He owes me for the time I've spent having to be sit and read through the rules and the regulations and the ethics on the Florida bar and all that so that I know that when I stated something, it was the truth. And the Florida Bar tells us an emergency suspension was placed on Christopher Adamac's license back on July 28th. They would not say whether that's due to this investigation. Adamac does have two prior complaints on file, but both cases were closed due to lack of probable cause. Live in the newsroom, Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News.